Hi and welcome to 4-inch cats. I'm Morgana Creeley. If you've been following me for some time you'll know that I make a lot of videos and I really enjoy making videos and they're lots of fun but some days you sit there and you think right I'm gonna make a video I've got my face on I've got my lighting I'm all set up and nothing. My mind has gone completely blank all the great ideas that I thought I had have taken a walk and here I am twiddling my thumbs thinking hmm what do I do now and this is generally when I start to think uh, I was so full of confidence this morning and now I'm not feeling so confident and oh man I mean I want to be good at this and I want to help people with their music and I want to get my ideas out there but now I'm kind of feeling like maybe I'm not as good as I thought I was and maybe everyone's going to see that I'm not as good as I thought I was and the negative thought starts to spiral. Welcome to imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is basically when you doubt yourself, you feel a bit like a fraud, you feel like Oh my god people are going to find out that i'm not as good as they think i am and it can really really eat away at your confidence and lots of people suffer from imposter syndrome i was watching one of my favorite tv shows recently and they were interviewing tim minchin who if you're not familiar with tim definitely look him up he is a comedian musician he plays piano he's brilliant he's funny he did the music for the musical Matilda. He's done all sorts of amazing stuff. He's sitting there in the chair being interviewed saying, yes, I suffer from imposter syndrome. And I'm thinking, oh my God, Tim is amazing and he suffers from imposter syndrome? Who am I to even worry about it? He's amazing. But this is the thing. So many people suffer from it so many people have these doubts oh my god what if I'm not good enough oh my god what if people find out that I'm not good enough another friend of mine incredibly talented violin player she is amazing I so look up to her she's just she's got all the music theory and she's got really high level playing and she plays on records and she does all this amazing stuff she's gorgeous to look at and I said to her Oh my god you are so gorgeous i so look up to you her response excuse me her response was literally no 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 don't look up to me i look up to you you're doing all these amazing things i can't do and i'm thinking hang on a minute you're tall and you're thin and you're redhead and you're gorgeous how could you possibly have imposter syndrome but that's the thing so many people do and we just think, oh, it's just self-doubt or, you know, we're taught not to blow our own horn or you've just got to be humble. No. Imposter syndrome needs to be stopped. And it's hard. It is so hard to stop it. My response to that little voice in my head that says, Morgana, you're not good enough. How can you possibly be teaching other people? It's not going to happen. I just say to that voice in my head, whatever. Okay. I'm not saying that it's wrong. I'm not saying that it's right. I'm just saying I'm not going to listen because I have other things that I would rather do with my time. Now, if you're watching this, thank you very much. But if you're watching this and you're thinking, well, that's all very good and well, but I happen to know that I'm actually quite a crap player. Stop right now. There's a couple of things I want to say about that. First of all, from a physiology point of view, when you play your own music, it sounds different to you than it sounds to anybody else who's listening. Now, partly I think that's because the inner workings of the ear, which I'm not going to try and explain because I'm not a doctor, but it's all joined by this wonderful jawbone here. And that affects how you are hearing sound. Now, if you're speaking, and your jawbone is moving then there's going to be some vibrations and it's going to affect the vibrations of your hearing so you're going to sound different secondly especially if you're playing a wonderful instrument and you hug it that's great 
I'm hugging my instrument. Well, A, it's really cool. But again, you're feeling the vibrations of that instrument against your body. And that's going to affect how you feel about what you're hearing and what you hear. Hi, Rebecca. Thank you for joining. Yes, I know that you feel this from time to time. Rebecca, amazing artist. If you're not following her, I'll put a link in the video afterwards. She's such a brilliant artist. And when I found out that she was suffering also from imposter syndrome, it completely blew me away. But yes, how are you playing? Are you holding your instrument close to your body? That's going to affect the way you hear. And this is also often when we hit, we record ourselves and we listen back and we go, wow, I sound so different on the recording to the way I think I sound myself. So what can you do about it if you have it? Well, again, think about your the hearing thing. What you hear is not what I hear. But the other really important point I wanted to make is that nobody thinks they're as good as they actually are. You might think on a scale of one to 10, your playing is maybe a three, when it's probably a five. Or if you think your playing is a five, it's probably a seven. Because when we're listening to ourselves, we hear every little tiny nuance that wasn't perfect. We hear that little twang. We hear that the note wasn't perfectly on pitch. We hear that the timing was three microseconds out. No one else is hearing it. Everyone else is going, hey, wow. That's really cool. I really like that. So they're, they're listening to the music as a big picture thing and you're listening to every little tiny individual bit and obviously it's your playing, you're going to hear the mistakes. If I was playing it and I made those mistakes, you might be thinking, hmm, nice improvisation, Morgana. And I'm thinking, phew, I got away with that one. Really, how you sound when you play, you're never going to be 100% happy with it. No one is. And okay, you might have a performance where you nail everything. Every note is perfect and your timing is brilliant. And you just have one of those rare magical nights when everything goes right. Which is awesome. But sadly, just because it happens once doesn't mean it's going to happen the next time. And I've been in that position where I've played something and it sounds great and, oh man, you know, I was really on fire that time. And I go to play it the next day and I'm playing exactly the same thing and it sounds crap. So immediately my imposter syndrome committee, because trust me, I have a whole committee, have jumped up and said, huh, see, you're not as good as you thought you were. Who are you to be making videos? Who are you to be doing this, that and the other? To which I just say, Whatever. I'm trying. You're trying. Everybody who picks up an instrument is trying. And that's all we can do is try our best and enjoy it. And every time you play your instrument or Rebecca, you pick up your pencil, you're practicing, you're going to get better. So ultimately, in the long run, it doesn't matter if we're not perfect. That doesn't make us imposters. It just makes us human. And if you're loving what you're doing and you're enjoying it and you make the odd mistake, really, who cares? I'm sure I've made lots of mistakes in this video, my very first live talking to the camera Facebook live video. But that's okay too, because the more I do it, Hopefully the better I'll get, <laughs> fingers crossed. But you know what? If you feel like you're an imposter, but you do it anyway, you're not an imposter. Because a musician is not someone who makes their, necessarily makes their living from it. It's not necessarily someone who's rich or famous. A musician is somebody who plays music. Somebody who plays music. We're not saying it's good music. We're not saying it's bad music. It's just someone that plays music. If you sing, you're a singer. I don't care what you sound like. If it gives you joy, do it. So there you go. Imposter syndrome. Kick it. 
out. Tell it to take a walk. Tell it to get lost. And if it won't go away, just tell it whatever. I'm going to do it anyway. So thank you very much for listening. And until next time, take care.